Hey guys, there. Uh, this is Jammer, and I made a video, and it was gonna be two parts. I decided to change them around, so I'm remaking it. So there's gonna be, there's probably about three things you gotta do for this all to work. And one thing would be to put the PSP display program in the right place. But first, let's go find the uh, PSP display program. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. Uh, so we'll type in PSP disp on Google, and this is a this is the first one. So when you get here, which will, this link will be in the description. When you get here, you'll scroll down till you see this video, and then you see download, and you click on this. It will download, and it will you'll see it there. But um, you want to go to this one right uh, here. Because they'll have this copy file to, to the PSP. So, before we copy it, you need to have your PSP plugged in. This is my PSP. And then you need to make a folder here named GameXX or whatever you want it to be. Just try and have game in it. That might help. And I'll explain how to find this in the PSP display program in the second part. So whenever you made that, whenever you've made that second game named GameXX, now you go to the PSP Display folder and you click on Copy Game to the Copy PSP Display Game Files to the PSP. So you'll do here and you'll click on the GameXX. I'm not gonna do that because it rewrites everything and blah 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 and yeah. So let me show you what it looks like. So. This is what it looks like whenever you have it, but we're going to restart. So whenever you want to actually make it work, you need to turn on the server. So you'll click on the PSP display, and it'll open up this thing right here. So you either type in this or that to uh, inside your, you'll see, but you'll type that into the where you put your ISP, which I'll show you in the second part as well. If you're wondering what that second IP is, it's my log me in Hamachi, cause this is for my uh, Minecraft server, which is right here. So next, we will sh I will show you what to do whenever you've got your on your computer and you want to all work. So main part screen resolution. If you didn't know, of course, the PSP screen is smaller than the computer screen, hopefully, and it won't it'll look really far away if you have it at your big at your normal resolution which mine is one three six six by seven six eight so if you can make it to eight hundred by six hundred as you can see it looks a lot smaller and if you uh look on my p s p which I'll show you it also it looks better a lot better and if you can go any lower, first check screen, I mean viewpoint size. Because whenever you've made it your screen 800 by 600, it will it will look better. Because whenever you make it 800 by 600, probably right about here and right about here to the right, over, over here, it'll be black. Because the screen will be like this big. Nah, it'll be probably about this big. And then the rest, the rest over here and over here are black. So when you make the PSB screen 800 by 600, it removes that black line that only makes it your computer screen, which, of course, is a lot better. So next, uh, Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, so you want to open up your Minecraft, of course, make that full screen, and like I said, whenever it's, uh, and by 600, it'll look even better on your PSP. Um, I'm not too positive how to remove this bottom part, other than this way. You go to properties, you check mark auto hide the taskbar, you click apply, you click OK. Now, as you can see, it just got fucking bigger. And I still don't remove that one. I don't know, but whatever. This makes it a lot better. And yeah, you can play. This is my gay house. I got some doors and all that. Sure. 
So let's not get carried away and end. So now you know how to do the the uh, Minecraft. We will do uh, no cash GBA, aka the DS simulator. So I will give you this whole file. It comes with my Pokemon White ROM and all the files that I have for this. So this right here is the normal emulator. It's the yeah normal emulator. It's the small one. And this one is the one I used before where it was like big. This is the one I used in that video I made. And I did full screen and it looked like this. But since I'm awesome, I have figured out a 1,000, well, 1,000 better way of doing it. So I never actually saw all these inside the folder, so I had to download a different my zoom. So I was like, fuck that. And but I see no zoomer, no cash zoomer. I was like, oh shit. Because, cause I, I, I had it in my head a way to if I could make it side by side like this, it'd be better. So I found those no cash zoomer inside the folder, and I opened it, and it had this. So this makes it look a thousand times better. And not only that, whenever you have it on eight hundred by six hundred, makes it like a makes it better. I think I've said a thousand enough. So, so you'll whenever you first open it, you'll check mark side by side. Maximize the window and you'll click on full screen. And you want just hide that. And so let's do full screen. Whenever you do full screen, your taskbar or you know a taskbar down there disappears in a few minutes. While we wait for that, we will. I uh, you need your size to be this because look what happens. Okay, nothing happened, but before it worked. Whatever. Just keep it on times 3.0. I think whenever I change it, it just stick it. Whatever. So, yeah, keep it on times 3.0. These really don't matter at all. I don't know what they do, but whatever. Separator doesn't do anything. Just do wide. Update 60 FPS. Turbo. Turn turbo on. And whenever you first, uh, whenever I give you it, you'll need this cheat, which I will put in the description. So, and you check, you need to check mark it and click OK, and then go back to this no cash GBA menu, click reset. And we got working Pokemon White. <laughs> Yeah, I recommend you use no cash DA because it's like just the best. I just love it. It works the best if your computer isn't very good. And uh, it works the best if your computer wasn't isn't very good and it uh it's just overall good because there's no save problems. It's easy. You just save it through your game because like Desmue, I don't know what's wrong with some of you. So that's pretty much it. Um yeah, we got uh, part two will be up as a video. I, don't, I just part two. Just watch part two, and I'll show you everything on the PSP.